We are here with victorious coach Mike Ellis. The the Falcons beat Ledger fifty five to to twenty seven tonight here at here at Dora Field. Mike, we were saying to uh, to Brian to Toussaint, it's October 9th, but this is usually the Thanksgiving day. Yeah, game. yeah. Did you get the the feel here 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 tonight? Well, it's interesting. Anytime we play Ledger, it's the uh, they're the arch rival. I remember the rivalry going back to when I was a kid. Yo, going over in 79 the ledger and seeing six and seven thousand people over there at that game at that point in time uh and the the classic game they had here uh you know with emory and bill mcnault uh so there's several classic games that have gone on between the uh the schools and so you know it was different but at the same time we knew it was ledger and we knew it was an important game and anytime you play them you want to compete well because we know that they're going to give us their best effort like um you know, we know that you guys, if we do play in the spring or that the next time we do play, yep. you're you're you know you're a, an option team. Mm -hmm. But are you finding something else here? I mean, you have quite the vertical uh, passing game going here. Yeah. Well, you know what's very interesting is that when you have you know normally we have about two and a half weeks before the first game, and when you're an option team, most of your time has to be spent working on that timing, and not this timing what you see out here. So in a way, this has been very beneficial for us because we've been able to work things that we normally don't get a lot of time to work with, and we're seeing things that we can use in that spring, you know, in that spring season. So we, this is almost like an extended spring football for us <laughs> right now. We're getting a lot of work in, and you know, we see Josh each week getting better and better with the timing in his reads. We see the routes getting better and better each week. The decision making is getting better in terms of down and distance, even though we are still making some mistakes there. So I, you know, I'm happy with the progress, and it is something that we're going to have to, we should be able to use. Mike, we we noticed, uh, you know, up there tonight, going to the fourth qu quarter, the seven on seven part of this, yep. the score was twenty to to, to twenty. It was, yes. It was, yep. it was even. Yep. The actual score was. Yeah. 48 to 20 because because your your linemen had sure. a great night. Just talk about them a little bit. Well, they they are a very hard working crew, and this is a line. That, this was a junior line from last year, where we brought four of those juniors back this year onto the line, and as an option team, we know how important that line is, uh, and to see them come out and the work that they've done, without really all they get is the lineman competition that's all they don't get to really play in that set that seven on seven and they come every day and they've improved in terms of their um you know knowing their plays and their skill work and i love how competitive they are and how they cheer each other on out here and they've gotten better too so for us you know we're getting better we just hope to continue on that path and have hope to have a chance to play in the spring